Trump, I think, is visiting uh, Dallas or Dayton, or he's planning to. He is talking in the way you want him to talk. He's saying, I don't blame the Dayton shooting uh, on Elizabeth Warren, even though the guy was an Elizabeth Warren fan. I, I blame the people who do these things. Meanwhile, the press and the left has gone nuts. Uh, Joaquin Castro, uh, one of the Democrat candidates, uh, he doxed Trump supporters. And, uh, you know, what, what can that lead to? What's the, what's the point of doing that except making, uh, putting a target on their backs? What is the point of doing that except having them harassed? Um, people are outside um, Mitch McConnell's house screaming incredibly violent, incredibly disgusting things. And, you know, the way the way the press is talking, it's irresponsible. It is irresponsible. Uh, Nicole Wallace, who is on MSNBC, uh, she made this thing where she said she had gotten this conversation. I want you to listen to this, because not only does she say that Trump has called for the extermination of Latinos. This is what she says, the extermination of Latinos. But then her commentator goes on to basically negate anything Trump says. This is a, a strategy they are now using. Trump comes out and denounces hate, uh, denounces bigotry, denounces racism, as he has done repeatedly throughout his administration. But no, 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 they're, they're reporting on what he really feels in his heart. Listen to this conversation. It really is awful. President Obama used the power of the presidency mm -hmm. to try to pass comprehensive immigration reform with the Latino community, Latino leaders at the table. You now have a president, as you said, talking about exterminating right. Latinos. It, it, it's not even, to me, it's not even a question of what this president is, could do. I, 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 and it brings me no pleasure saying this. I just think with this administration, it is too late. And, and this goes to me, it's not even a political question because Obama, George W. Bush, H.W., all of the presidents in modern history have made sincere outreach to Latinos. Whether or not their views happen to align with mainstream Latinos, they wanted them in their party. They wanted their support. This president beats beyond like the slightest minimum modicum of respect really virtually has, has no regard for our communities. And we see the way he's treated some of the most prominent people, some of the Latino achievers in this nation. So when I watch his speech and I hear these words, they strike me as utterly insincere, completely inauthentic. If you've paid five minutes worth of attention over the, to Trump over the last few years, that's not who he is. It's who he, we're reporting on who he is, not the, what he says, not what he does, and not the effects of his policies, which have been good for everybody. Nicole Wallace issued a non-apology apology. She said, I misspoke about Trump calling for an extermination of Latinos. My mistake was unintentional, and I'm sorry. Trump's constant assault on people of color and his use of the word invasion to describe the flow of immigrants is intentional and constant. Uh, Scott Adams, you know, the cartoonist, the Dilbert guy, uh, <laughs> joked that uh, he also was apologizing to anyone he accidentally <laughs> accused of gender genocide, which is, you know, a, that's a very good joke because essentially, you know, how can you apologize? You know, why would you say that about somebody? It is a terrible thing to say, but it, uh, it's only the beginning. I got to just play some of this so you see how nutty it is. So you just see that I'm not just going off on people. Uh, here is uh, Frank Figliuzzi, who is a former assistant director for counterintelligence at the FBI. If you didn't already feel bad about the FBI, here's the security uh, analyst for NBC. This is a security analyst for NBC. You know, I don't like to play SNBC because I think it's fair for them to be left wing, although they do go over the top, like with that Nicole Wallace thing. But this is the NBC analyst, right? Talking about the fact that Donald Trump is going to put the flag at half mast and raise it on August 8th. We have to understand the adversary and the threat we're dealing with. And if we don't understand how they think, we'll never understand how to counter them. So it's the little things and language and messaging that matters. The president said that we will fly our flags at half mast until August 8th. That's 8-8. Eight, eight. Now, I'm not going to imply that he did this deliberately, but I am using it as an example of the ignorance of the adversary that's being demonstrated by the White House. The numbers 8-8 eight, eight are very significant in neo-Nazi and white supremacy movement. Why? Because the letter H is the eighth letter of the alphabet. And to them, the numbers 8-8 eight, eight together stand for Heil Hitler. So we're going to be raising the flag back up uh, at dusk on 8-8. Eight, eight. No one's thinking about this. No one's, no one's giving him the advice or he's rejecting the advice. Imagine why no one's thinking about this. Frank, 
back away from the microphone, back slowly away from the microphone. I got a bunch of these. I'm running out of time, but let me just play one more because it is hilarious. I guess let's play the one of NBC. They're trying to find how Trump is inspiring haters. They, they, have, to, they have to go to Germany, first of all, to find enough of these neo-Nazis. I mean, where, if you're going to look for neo-Nazis, where do you go? But they can't find them here. So they go to Germany. And I love, I love this Nazi's response to their reporting. Listen to this. We found the ideology that can inspire some to mass murder is taking inspiration from the president. We went to a neo-Nazi festival in Germany a few weeks ago. But what surprised us most is what organizers were handing out at the door. So they're giving out hats. M-G-H-A. Make Germany hate again. We found the man who made the hat. So people are using his yes. his hat as an yeah. inspiration. Yes. Do people here like him? Do you like him? Uh, I like his style. <laughs> so they travel to Germany. They got to travel to Germany to find the Nazis, right? That's the first thing. Then they find a hat based on the MAGA hat. And then they say, well, do you like Trump? And he says, well, I, I like his style, you know? <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't like his policies. He doesn't like what he's actually saying, what he's doing. But he likes the shouting. You know, I like shouting. Shouting is good. Uh, when I hate people, I like to shout. So I like the Trump that talks loud and is insulting. You know, <laughs> come on. Come on. And, and they said, this is NBC. Again, this is not MSNBC. Again, they said, oh, yes, Trump is inspiring uh, the, the kind of extremism uh, that leads to hatred around the world. That's what they're saying about the president of the United States on NBC News, right? And they find this clown, this neo-Nazi clown out in uh, in Germany who doesn't even attribute. It's not about the philosophy. He just likes to start. I like red. Red is good. I like a red hat. When I put on a hat, a red hat, I feel like a Nazi. You know, it's like, what, what kind of naughtiness is that? I mean, it and it's da- it is dangerous. It really is dangerous. And it's a textbook case of radicalization. They're sacred ideas. They're secluding themselves among themselves. The, the press needs to be reformed. It really does need it needs to reform itself because the First Amendment protects it from us reforming it, which is a good thing. But they really they all they have to do is hire people in positions of editorial power who voted for Donald Trump. Not one of them. They need to hire 30 percent at least of their staff, of their editorial staff, should be people who voted for Donald Trump so they can turn to them and say this story where you went to Germany and accused the president of inspiring mass murder because some clown is wearing a red hat. This is a stupid story. Do not put it on the air. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen because the corporations who employ them want it this way.